there's something else entirely. Here, inside this refrigerator, at a temperature just a tick above absolute zero, isolated from the rest of the universe, is a quantum computer. If you believe the hype, this nascent technology embodies the promise of the future and has the potential to revolutionize our lives with its turbocharged computation. But quantum computers aren't the next generation of supercomputers. They're something else entirely. And before we can even begin to talk about their potential applications, we need to understand the fundamental physics that drives the theory of quantum computing. In the 1980s, one of the most important physicists of the 20th century encountered a major roadblock. As he added particles to the quantum systems he was modeling, the cost of computation began to rise exponentially. Feynman concluded that classical computers just can't scale up fast enough to keep pace with the growing complexity of quantum calculations. Then he had a breakthrough. What if he could design a tool made up of quantum elements itself? The idea of the quantum computer was born. And by dreaming it up, Feynman had started to build a bridge between quantum physics and computer science. 